and that's where I studied, was in Oregon. At the, it was called the Museum Art School at the time. And now it's called the Pacific Northwest School of Art. And uh, it's a four-year school. And at the time you had a choice between taking classes to become a teacher or taking classes to become an artist. If you took classes to become an artist, all you took was art. Uh, so you were immersed in the art process. And I knew right away I didn't want to take classes just to teach. Mm -hmm. And so I took classes to become an artist. For five years I worked on a wall in graphics. And then I quit and became an artist in 1981. And I've been painting full time ever since. I think if, if a person lives here, you, you can't live here and not be affected by the Hawaiian culture. It's so strong and it's great that it's being kept alive uh, and invigorated, and it is. So I rarely paint uh, contemporary hula. Uh, I like the uh, kahiko. Uh, I like the old feeling. And as I paint, I usually take out contemporary elements uh, so that the image could be of something today, could also be of something 150 years ago. And I like that ambiguity, uh, that feeling of not really being certain what age it is, but more just enjoying the image and the feeling and the atmosphere and the colors. I mean, that's what an artist is doing. When you go to Italy, you can't help but eat. And eat. <laughs> and eat. And you go every, every year, is that right? Normally. Excellent. We go every year. Yeah, it's, it's changed how I uh, treat everything. The colors, the mm -hmm. textures. I used to work with the smoothest surface on my paintings. Um, I wouldn't work with the roughness that I do now. Mm -hmm. uh, and the texture as a result of having gone to Italy, especially Venice, mm -hmm. uh, where you have those old stuccoed walls that are weathered. And, uh, and I wanted to recreate that feeling on the canvas, which I couldn't do with a smooth surface. Mm -hmm. uh, Italy has a different light, uh, totally different feel than here. And so as an artist, that's what you capture. You capture uh, uh, what you see. Artists are really visual. Uh, so part of it is mental, part of it is uh, each artist takes with him his own perceptions. But part of it is also what he paints. Mm -hmm. And you go to Italy and it's a totally different experience than, than coming here and painting. Every artist's personal beliefs, uh, their spirituality uh, that you're talking about, uh, their view of humanity, their view of nature, uh, comes across in their painting. Uh, as you develop your skills, it comes across clearer. And that's not something an artist tries to do. That's something that simply comes through as a natural part of, of him expressing himself. You're seeing th through the paintings a little bit of me and my personality. Um, I love humanity. Um, I love Rembrandt's type of humanity, a sense of humanity. Um, not as a picture, but as, as a depth of a spirituality. Humanity and spirituality to me are combined.